Hello guys, I'm Timothy O from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. This one for Saturday, the 25th. And normally, yes, I do call it, I do NBA. Uh, we're not going over any NBA, NBA games today because there is a lot of college basketball to talk about. I got 10 games, 10 plays lined up for you guys for this one. So uh, hopefully we we do pretty well. We got we're gonna have 30 plays up on the site for college basketball on Saturday. So big, big day. Uh, I will have NBA plays. Uh, they will be all over on the site. Uh, NBA pass one week, $70 or a month pass for 200. Picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. And at the same link, go grab the other 20 plays that we have up on the site. Uh, Cause we will have 30 plays up on the site. I'm going to give out 10 of them here. The other 20 are over there. One week pass $70 or a month pass for 200. Lots and lots of value when it comes to that let's go ahead and jump into the card we'll start off with one of the noon games yukon and st john's yukon is a nine point favorite uh with a total of 151 in this game uh, connecticut ranked about 23rd in the nation they are 21 and 7 this year st john's 17 and 12 i'm just fading another ranked team i'm grabbing a lot of points nine points i feel like is just too many at home for St. John's, and uh, you look at it, UConn's not a strong road team. They're four and five on the road this year against the St. John's team. That's eleven and five. You know they're going to get up for this game. Go ahead, give me the Johnnies plus the nine. Ready for a gross one? We get Villanova taken on Creighton. Creighton ranked Villanova not. Creighton's a four point favorite. Total of one thirty seven in this game, and um, you already know ranked team versus unranked team. And then spread is less than five. Give me Nova all day. Uh, I know it's a gross play, but at least Nova's been good at home. Four and uh, nine and two at home this year. So they've actually been a really good home team against Creighton, who's four and five on the road. Winning on the road in college basketball is not easy. Not easy at all, guys. And uh, I think it's going to be difficult for Creighton to get the job done in this one. Give me Nova plus the four. Let's head over to some SEC action where Missouri is going to Georgia to play against the Bulldogs and uh, Missouri three point fave 155 is another one. It's not ranked, but it's very tough to win on the road. Missouri three and five on the road this year, 13 and two for Georgia. It's only a three point spread. Missouri's the better team. Missouri is the better team sitting at 20 and eight this year. So I'm not going to show them short. I think this is a good Georgia spot. Go ahead. Give me the Bulldogs plus the three Arkansas and Bama are going to go after it as well. Uh, Bama is a seven and a half point favorite. 150 is the total in this one. Alabama still the uh, undefeated at home this year. Arkansas two and six on the road. But I just think that the line is just a little bit too wide for me. I'll go ahead and grab Arkansas plus the points. It's a um, it's a uh, ranked team against a Arkansas team that is uh, 25th. So they're barely not ranked. I'm going to go ahead and grab Arkansas. I think it's a good spot for them, plus the seven and a half. Wouldn't be a Saturday without going after our uh, our beautiful Louisville going after it. Uh, they're against Georgia Tech. Seven and a half is, uh, point favorites are Georgia Tech. 138 is the total. And you know we're grabbing Louisville. I know Louisville. 0-9 on the road this year. 4-24. and 24. They are 6-1 six and, six and one their last seven games against the spread. They're starting to cover some bigger spreads. They're starting to play better basketball. No, they're not good. No, they're not making the bracket. They're 4-24 and 24 this year. But they're 11-16-1 against the spread. So at least they're covering in some of the games that they are losing. I think it's too many points. I do not like this Georgia Tech team. I don't think they should be this big of favorites. Louisville plus the points. Let's head to Oklahoma State where they get to host Kansas State. Uh, Kansas State's around 16th in the nation. But Oklahoma State is favored at one and a half point favorites with a total of 137 and a half. And you already know we're taking Oklahoma State. Uh, 16 and 11 this year, 11 and 3 at home against a Kansas State team, which, yes, 21 and 7 this year, 3 and 6 on the road. Mm -mm, not good. Go ahead, give me Oklahoma State in this game. I think they take care of business and they beat a unranked, uh, they, they beat a ranked team in uh, Kansas State. Three games left, and they're good ones. Texas and Baylor are going to go at it. Uh, Baylor's a three-point home favorite. One at 52.5 is the total. Top 10 matchup 
And normally I don't go, normally I don't really go after this, but I'm going to go after Baylor. Um, and once again, it's, it's very tough to win on the road. Um, 13 and two for Baylor. Uh, they're the, they're not as good of a team. Uh, Texas has the better record. I think Texas is the better team and yet Baylor is favorited. Yeah. Sign me up for, uh, some Baylor minus three in this game versus, uh, Texas. We had to do this game. UNC is taking on Virginia. Uh, UNC is a two point home favorite. 134 and a half is the total. Virginia is number six in the nation, and they are a dog against an unranked Carolina team that has been underachieving all year. Tar Heels. There's no other way of going it. There's a couple of games on Saturday that are ranked teams against unranked teams, and the unranked teams are favorited. A top 10 team is a dog against an unranked team. That should tell you enough. Grabbing Carolina minus the two. Yes, I had to do this game. Yes, I did. Wrapping it up with Houston at East Carolina. Houston's a 17 and a half point fave. 133 is the total in this game. Uh, yes, I know. Homer this, Homer that. I'm taking the Pirates. Um, th- this is a game that East Carolina has had circled all year long. It's finally here, and Houston is number one in the nation. I think East Carolina covers. I think this is a single-digit game. No, I'm not saying they win this one outright. Although, the last time that Houston came to East Carolina with a top-five ranking, ECU won by double digits. Just saying. Do I think it happens this year? Absolutely not. But I think East Carolina keeps it close. We're grabbing them plus the 17 and a hook. All my NBA plays and college basketball plays are up on the site. That was 10 of them right there. Um, The other 20 of them are up on the site for tomorrow. I will have some NBA plays, including a best bet, so make sure you guys check out that as well. Uh, But that is everything for this edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. I want to thank you guys all for watching. And until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in college basketball.